why Walmart will keep selling guns. Confederate flags are off the shelves at Walmart. But still up for grabs, guns. Walmart, the nation's largest retailer, was the first to announce plans this week to remove Confederate flag products from its stores after Dylan Roof killed nine African Americans in a Charleston, South Carolina church. The company was hailed by many for quickly responding to the uproar over the flag. But it has since come under pressure to also stop selling guns in response to the nation's latest mass shooting. I would hope that stores like Walmart would recognize the danger of having these guns displayed right next to an aisle away from microwave popcorn and an Xbox games, said U.S. Senator Chris Murphy, a Connecticut Democrat who has pressed for gun control since 20 children were shot and killed at a school in his state in 2012. I'm not terribly confident that a 21-year-old Walmart clerk is going to sell guns responsibly or be able to give customers the kind of advice they need on how to responsibly use that one. The debate over the Confederate flag has also raised broader questions about where the line should be drawn for retailers that sell other questionable or offensive products. While Amazon and eBay and many other smaller retailers also joined Walmart in ending sales of the Confederate flag, accessories featuring the swastika, posters of Marxist revolutionary Che Guevara and books denying the Holocaust are still readily available online. Critics have since called for such items to be taken down as well. But when it comes to guns, don't expect Walmart to stop selling firearms anytime soon. CEO Douglas McMillan said this week that the sporting goods department is an integral part of the company. As a part of Walmart's goal of selling firearms primarily for the purposes of hunting and sports, it does not sell handguns, a policy dating back to 1993, nor does it sell high-capacity magazines. And customers can only purchase firearms in-store, not through Walmart.com.